Hey, it's Mr. Peace. I'm here at Breeze Hill Elementary School in Vista, California, home of the Coyotes. I'm back for a second visit now for the 2023-2024 school year. And we took it up a level of what we spoke on last time, uh, one of the really important character traits, but this one today was about diversity and the need for human kindness. And so we had it here in the MPR at their school for the AM, PM after school program. What's so cool is uh, they had this kindness tree uh, right here in the room and different people that basically put hearts as leaves all around this tree uh, and just really very thoughtful and compassionate messages, right? The things that they want to live by, kind of like their goal for this year to help each other to be kind, not only to your teachers, uh, but to your fellow classmates as well, any of the adults that work here too. And for them to already start thinking about this at a young age, but to also visually be able to see this time in, time out, right? This is so huge, right? Because now all of a sudden, it's a constant reminder of what we spoke about today, right? That there is this need for human kindness to show that unconditional love, love without any conditions. And it's so important we do this because it may not be just showing that act of kindness or saying the kind word to someone. It could be anyone else that's an earshot or eyesight of the action or word that, you know, hears it, sees it, and it changes their heart in a positive way too. Right, so we have to know that showing, that showing that kindness is also not just the self-love, but showing that to others too. And seeing people for this as well. In all my programs, I always talk about this. We all have the letter M on the palm of our hands with the lines on our hand. I trace one of mine here. And I traced a lot of the students today with washable, number, with washable marker. Uh, but they were so happy to see that and believe that they're miracles too, right? The front of my shirt says this upside down again, W though for worthy. There were beautiful miracles worthy of love to give it and receive it. And a lot of students that come up to me and say, Miss Peace, you know, I don't think I'm beautiful. I don't like my own reflection in the mirror. I mean, it breaks my heart to hear that, but to be able to instill in them and us be that light to someone else's heart, that's huge. And to show this love without any conditions, that's not always easy, right? Even if someone's taller, shorter than us, wider, skinnier, different skin color, has glasses or not, in a wheelchair or not, we can still choose kindness. We can still choose love, choose to accept, choose to show compassion, choose to include. And hopefully in a world where you can do anything and be anything, let's be kind. So thanks for touching my heart. You're all beautiful. I'll see you all again in 2024. Have a great rest of this year and the start to next year uh, before I'm back here in March, April timeframe. And as always, make sure the subscribe button is to pop up on the screen. You can also check out this playlist below for some additional motivation. And feel free to visit my website by clicking on the peace sign symbol on your phone, tablet, wherever you're watching this video to track my journey across this country as I continue to heal America's heart one school at a time. Peace.